That was good. I'm going to say Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Ba'asum, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asum, Rakak with Dash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Akim out there putting in work. Hey, but we out here. This is a downtown Columbus, Ohio. What is this called? It's like Nationwide Plaza or something like that. If we down by the Arena District. That's what it's called, the Arena District. They got, that's where the Blue Jackets play and all that. But they got this big-ass Roman arch out here. Oh, what was the name of it? Oh, somebody else about to go read it. Let's go read that thing. I'm get my bag. Somebody go steal my bag. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's see. I haven't read it yet, so let's check it out. The, oh, the Columbus Union Station Arch. Oh, there used to be a... Uh, damn. Can't. Can you read that? The arch stands for the last remnant of a significant Columbus landmark designed by world-class talent. Destroyed under controversy and serves as a testament to Columbus's pass passenger uh, rail legacy. Yeah, they used to have trains in here. I guess in Columbus back during World War II. I don't know if it's true, but you know the old story goes. Oh, they check that out. Did they uh they ripped up all the railroads and stuff, all the for because they needed steel for the war. See, was that 1942? So, here, y'all can read this. I ain't gonna do it. Y'all can read a positive video. You know what I mean? You want a little history? We about to teach right here, though. We thought it looked like a cool spot to sit up. I might read this myself later. I ain't gonna read it all right now. That'd be very boring. All right, we got this devil right here. Can you eat a mic? It'd be sweet if we still had trains, wouldn't it? Shit. Oh, garbage-ass Columbus. Oh, backwards-ass Columbus. They're garbage-ass Coda buses. We got the Judite woman driving all the Coda buses, killing everybody. <laughs> but, so that's the last remnant of the railroad? Is that what it? That, was that the whole thing? Oh, yeah. It used to be used to be way bigger. But it's still that Roman, got the Roman arch with the pillars and all that. That just proves that America's Rome. Let's check this out right quick. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was about to say. Uh, where them joints at? You see them eagle? Oh, you can't even see it from right here. Let me get back up a little bit. Get some light. Oh, there it is. See, you got them eagles up there. That eagle, where that eagle? That comes from ancient Rome. The eagle represents Zeus. That was the god of the Romans. Was, uh, Zeus, a.k.a. Jupiter. The Greeks called him Zeus. Romans called him Jupiter. And that's why America uses the symbol of the eagle. Because uh, America is Rome in the reincarnation. That's why they always use Roman architecture. Uh, but look, they have some so-called Christian shit up in here. Look, how you gonna have so-called angels with well, this an Edomite angel? Let's look at some white... They eat, but you know they can try to have angels but they still got the eagle right in the middle you know what I mean but those are female angels it, where in the scriptures they say there was female angels so you know that's probably some pagan goddesses actually that ain't nothing out of the scriptures and what this one's holding a, uh, what is that a bowl of fruit and food or something what's this other one holding though what is it oh I can see it but what do you, you see what the hell is that is that a disc it's not a millstone, is it? it should be a millstone. <laughs> but we about to set up right here. Oh, what's, what's this? Boston's? All kind of restaurants. What is it? Oh, that is a yaw, ain't it? Yeah, look at that. That's a good farm. That's a yaw. Hey, we see, we were supposed to come here today. Yeah, that's a spirit. That's a spirit. That's if y'all don't know, that's very, that is the Hebrew character. It's a Yah. That's, that stands for the Most High. And the number, what, the number 10. Yeah. Right? Yeah, actually, that means he. In Hebrew, that means he. That's what that means, a Yah. Yah means he in Hebrew. That's like when you say hallelujah. That, what does that mean? That means praise him. 
praise the most high. Ugh. That was a bad idea. I should have just had this set up already. <laughs> We're gonna be preaching right in the arch. <laughs> if I, this, is our, this is our arch. We're going we stand right in the middle. Oh yeah, scoot up so they can see us, right? Let me take, huh? Oh yeah, that's all right. They ain't worried about us. Well, they might be. They should be. Oh, I, my zoom. I gotta zoom out. Straight disrespecting that shit. Yeah, we disrespecting this shit by coming out right here. We finna even disrespect this shit even more. Yeah, fuck your arch. Fuck, fuck this arch. Fuck America. Fuck all these heathens. Oh, that's, you can't say that. You guys are teaching the Bible. Saying fuck. This is a landmark, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's weird too. Cause Esau likes to go around the world fucking removing landmarks. The world's gonna just remove this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you want to landmarks? The world's gonna move your, your Yeah, what, uh, oh yeah, this, like we already said, this is a Roman, Roman shit. The Romans burnt down the temple. They burnt down the temple in Jerusalem in 70 AD. So, like, we want to respect your shit. They don't want to know, I'd piss on this arch if all these people weren't out here. <laughs> now nah, we wouldn't do nothing like that. We act better than the heathens. We're above the heathens. We're we're holy people. Ugh. There we go. Did you got something already? Uh, I was thinking about that one scripture where it says, "If America gets destroyed, you won't be able to tell what's, what's one place or another." We just get a. Should I just get Revelation eight ten. I'll, I'll do it, sir. Uh, What'd you say? You won't be able to tell? Yeah, like, uh, be worried. I can't say shit. You just like, you can't say, oh, here's this, 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 that. Same yeah. Thing's gonna be I know what you're off. talking about. I'm not sure what that's right. It's, uh, Revelation 18. And, uh, <clears throat> and 2 says, He cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the Great is fallen and is fallen. Become the habitation of devils. Right. What's so funny? Oh, no. No, I was just uh, yeah, because Babylon the Great, that's America. And we know Babylon the Great is America. Well, you read this whole chapter. It's not hard to figure. We just read the whole chapter. Or not, uh, yeah, the whole chapter. Because the Babylon in Hebrew, that means uh, confusion. Okay, and this is called Great Babylon, the land of great confusion. Because what it's called confusion, for first of all, it's a, many people is in this land. It's a melting pot. You got all nationalities in America. You got Chinese, Japanese, fucking Africans, Arabs, so-called white people, so-called black people, you know, everything. You got everything over here. It's all mixed together. Just like the Tower of Babel. All the nations trying to come together, you know, to build this fucking tower to, to defy the Most High. That's the same thing with America. It's a spiritual tower. You know what I'm saying? They, it is, America was built in defiance of the Most High and His laws. Go ahead. It says, and, uh, and it's become the habitation of devils. It's the ha oh, that's what actually talking about after the destruction. Because when America's destroyed, this place ain't nothing going to be living over here but devils and little desert creatures. Go ahead. In the road of every foul spirit, in the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. All nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. It said all nations have drunk of the wine and the wrath of her fornication. Now who's that talking? That's talking about America. All nations. Go ahead. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. The kings of the earth. Go ahead. The merchants of the earth will wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies. It said the merchants of the earth will wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies. America is the richest nation on earth. Okay? And everybody comes to America to do business in America. Okay, that's why what? The World Trade Center is in America. United, huh, the United Nations. 
Where in the scriptures does it say all nations are going to be united? But do you not, going back to the Tower of Babel, the United Nations is in America. That's in New York City. All the big, you know, the port cities and everything is all in America. Oh, the petrodollar, the American dollar, USD, Federal Reserve note. That, well, it still is, but not for long. It's still the top currency in the world. And everybody, all the other nations of the world, they do business with America. Go ahead. Well, that's just proof America's Babylon. If you can't see that, you, you don't know the scriptures. Because you got a lot of assholes out there. They'll try to say, the, uh, Babylon the Great is the Vatican. You had Israelites teaching that, bro. That tried to refine Israelites. They was teaching that. That's a Protestant doctrine. That's what the Protestants teach. That's the old, that's that old, uh, the Reformation Protestant doctrine. They came out of the Reformation with the Lutherans and all that. And the Calvinists, they, all, they try to say Babylon the Great was the Vatican. That's because America wasn't even created yet when they came up with that doctrine. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that shit's off. Go ahead. It says, uh, uh, and, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through their abundance of her delicacies. Oh, see, the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Talking about America. Go ahead. And I heard another voice from heaven. Oh, what, what, are the merchants of the earth, are they getting rich from the Vatican? What what kind of merchandise the Vatican's got? Vatican City. It's like the smallest nation on the planet Earth. Vatican City is small as hell. They ain't got no merchandise. All they got is the Pope and the Cardinals and, and child molesters. That's all they got. Statues. They got the Sistine Chapel. The only merchandise they got is in the tourist shops. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. heard it, another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not be partakers of her sins, and that you receive none of her plagues. For right. I'm sorry. Yeah, but it said, come, another, heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of my people. That was the voice from heaven. It was an angel, and it was saying, Come out of, that's what's going to happen when the destruction comes. A voice out of, we're going to hear that voice out of heaven saying, Come out of my people, and that's how we're going to get saved. And we're going to get beamed up into the chariots. That's what that's talking about. Go ahead. And uh, coming out of my people, they do not partake of her sins, and they receive not of her plagues, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and God have remembered her iniquities. Right, so the, don't think, you know, a lot of people, they, people are miserable as fuck in this country. You know what I mean? Most Americans, especially we living on the bottom, there's only a few people is living nice in America. You know what I mean? Most people is not living nice. They, most people is not rich. Most people is poor, they live in the hood. Everybody's sad, depressed, they hate their life. You know what I'm saying? But the sins of this place is reached the most high, here's your cries, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works. Oh, double unto her according to her works. Right, you know America was founded uh, on slavery and genocide. There's a nation, it's a, the land of the free was founded on slavery. That makes a lot of sense. That's why I hate you Americans, man. Especially you, you proud to be American ass motherfuckers with your flags. They got flags, you know what I mean, in their front yard. Y'all deserve to be slapped. Talking about, oh, I love this nation. Talking about, oh, God bless the troops. They're protecting our freedoms. Oh, fucking whacked in the head. Go ahead. Says, and uh, in the couple, she had filled foot to her double. How much she had glorified herself and had lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. But she had said in her heart, I said a queen and no widow. Hey, I, say. Well, read that part again right there. Said, for she said from her heart, I said a queen and no, no widow. No, that part right before about that. What did that uh, say? The delicious? Much, yeah, how much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously. See, this is not what America does. It glorifies itself. Yeah. America glorifies herself. Like, like President Trump. Look at that devil. Oh, he's always talking about how great America, make America great again. He says, we're going to have the biggest, strongest, most powerful military. We'll never be defeated. You know what I mean? They think they're unstoppable and untouchable. But they're not. They're going to get touched. Go ahead. It says, uh, uh, it says, uh, I, uh, for she hath said in the heart, I said a queen and no widow. Say, say, said a queen. 
Oh, that's why they got the Statue of Liberty too. You know what I mean? That's that 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 personification of America, wrapped up into a statue called the Statue of Liberty. No, it's just a woman. Plus, it's got the sun rays. It's, it was made by free, French Freemasons. It was given to a gift to the Americans. And it's an obvious pagan idol, okay? That tells you America is not a Christian nation. It is not a nation that follows the laws of the Bible. I mean, here it is, the image that represents America. One of them is the Statue of Liberty, right? And it's literally a pagan idol. And it's actually based upon the, uh, the Statue of Liberty. It's actually based on the Colossus of Rhodes in the ancient Greek world. In the island of Rhodes, they had a giant statue that represented the sun god. That's what the Statue of uh, Liberty is. Go ahead. It says, uh, therefore, shining plagues come in one day, death, mourning, and famine. Ooh, in one day, death, mourning, and famine. That's what's coming. That's what's coming to this place. She shall be utterly burned with fire. Ooh, hoo -hoo. she shall be utterly burned with fire, son. So this place is going to get burned up, bro. That's what we've been saying. We've been coming out here for years warning y'all about that fire that's coming. Okay? So you, if you know the fire is coming, just like the book of Peter said, how you supposed to be acting? What does it say? What kind of, uh... There's a dude waving at us. Dork. Go ahead. Yeah, but you know the fire is coming, so how you supposed to be acting? You're supposed to be doing this work. You know what I'm saying? If you consider yourself... A man of the Lord, you believe in the Most High, you're supposed to do his work. Go ahead. For strong is the Lord who judge of her. And uh, the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall be well her and them for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Ooh, right. They ain't going to be <laughs> lamenting for it. No more America. Can't do no more business with America. It's going to be on fire. It's going to get destroyed. In one hour, that judgment has come. Because when America's going to be destroyed, it's going to get destroyed by, the, by that fire, by the missiles. Because uh, Russia going to shoot missiles on America. And it makes sense that the destruction will happen in an hour. Because look, the missiles, how long do they take to get from America to the United States? Like, now they got missiles that can get here in what, 30 minutes? 20 minutes? They got intercontinental ballistic missiles. They can get here in less than an hour. Plus, you see Russia was testing their new uh, the hypersonic missiles. And they said the hypersonic missiles, they, they can't be stopped. They can't, you can't, there's no missile defense system for those hypersonic missiles. So America going to get hit with all the missiles. Go ahead. It says, uh, Shall weep and mourn over her, but no man buy their merchandise anymore. <laughs> the merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and of fine wood and all manner of vessels of ivory and of all manner of vessels of most precious uh, precious wood of brass and iron and marble and cinnamon and odors and uh, ornaments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beast and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. The slaves and souls of men. Souls of men, see that? Hey, if it's not America, it's just a slave. Because, you know, America is Rome. We already said that. And the ancient Romans was doing the same thing. But now America is Rome, along with all of its allies, with NATO, the EU. And this is a nation literally founded on slavery. You know what I'm saying? They say it's the land of the free. All men are created equal. But every, yeah, over half the population was in fucking slavery. Like, literally. George Washington, the, the first president, owned over 300 slaves. Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. Well, he, oh, he didn't own slaves, but he said he was not against it. Did he have slaves, did he? Abraham Lincoln didn't have slaves, did he? Yeah, that's he had slaves. Did he? Maybe he did. I don't know. Look it up. Because I know he said he didn't really, he wasn't worried about slavery, though. Yeah. All he was worried about was keeping the union together. Yeah, that's why. Oh yeah. So he oh, so he was gonna do whatever it took just to keep the country together. If it meant keeping slavery, he was gonna keep slavery. If it meant getting rid of it, he was gonna, and they still ain't get rid of slavery, bro. They wrote the third the thirteenth amendment. 
It says, uh, it t go look it up, the 13th Amendment. It says there will be no slavery in the United States unless a person is convicted of a crime. So there's still slavery in this country. That's why you have for-profit prisons. You have privately owned prisons. That's why you got like, what, there's like 3 million people in prisons in America. They mostly in there for some bullshit charges. What, they got caught with some drugs or something? But here is the white man, he can set up drug stores on every corner and sell drugs legally. But if one of us do it, we'll go, obviously you shouldn't sell drugs either, obviously. But it's just showing you that this, we're dealing with the devil. But if you sell drugs on the corner, you're going to jail, you about to do a five-year bid. But if the white man sells drugs in one of his stores, he makes billions of dollars. See how that works? That's why the scripture with Job 20 said, the joy the hypocrite is but for a moment. I should get that, I should get that chapter. You got more to that? And it was that fucking, it was the, it was J.P. Morgan, whatever, found fucking like, like a, like a lot of fucking coke on his damn, uh, ship or whatever the fuck, not too long ago. Oh, yeah, they was all drug, drug dealers. Yeah. It was like, what niggas, see, why didn't you shut this shit down? Take him to prison. Yeah, all these bankers, yeah, they had the, uh, when that thing came out with the, uh, El Chapo, you know, the Mexican drug dealers. I saw it. But they was all, uh, they, they was in doing business with all the bankers. The bankers, they know they sell drugs. They're helping them. You know what I'm saying? The so-called white man, he's the biggest drug dealer. They, they've been said it had the CIA finances itself through selling uh, heroin and cocaine. What? We in Ohio, Ohio, bro. This is Columbus, Ohio. There's a heroin epidemic out here. Where's all this heroin coming from? You got people dropping like flies out here from heroin. Heroin, fentanyl. Who makes fentanyl? Where, where does that come from? Here it is. You get a so-called black guy. He get caught with some uh, fentanyl, and he's getting locked up. But a so-called white man, he's the one who makes the fentanyl in the laboratories. How come he's not getting locked up? They worried about fentanyl. How about you lock up the motherfucker that makes the shit? You know? How about that? But that see, that's why this place is going to be destroyed, man. So the government, they're the ones that are bringing all the heroin in here. They got videos on YouTube you can watch. Uh, and that shows the United States Marines guarding poppy fields in Afghanistan. Why do you think they've been in Afghanistan for 20 fucking years? They've been in Afghanistan for that goddamn poppy. Them poppy plant, for that, for them drugs. And they also over there to get all their uh, lithium. They got a lot of lithium up in Afghanistan. Everybody needs that for their phones and their batteries, lithium ion batteries. You said you got something? Yeah. It says, uh, Job 34, 30 says, uh, let me see. Yeah, it says, uh, that the hypocrite reign not, least the people be ensnared. That's what it is. The hypocrite, he's reigning right now, so everybody's ensnared. And, like, you know, niggas, niggas are wicked as fuck, but really, man. All that shit really was designed for niggas to, to, to go nowhere in life anyway. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's not fair. The other way, the school systems, all that bullshit, that shit ain't fair. Yeah, it's not fair, bro. I remember, I remember Eli, he brought it out. He said, uh, you look it up. Uh, a lot of like a lot of like a lot of schools is uh, is funded by your fucking taxes and where you live at, or whatever the case is. You go to these rich ass neighborhoods, they got all these all these different uh, opportunities at their jobs. You go to our, our neighborhoods. Our fucking schools is fucking trash, you know what I'm saying? We barely got any education. <laughs> and then, you know what I'm saying? This is bullshit. Now you got niggas growing. And, and then, then they, they, the one big thing, they, they take the fucking father out the house. They make the nigga woman independent. And now a nigga, he growing up with no, uh, no father. Now he's a effeminate. Now he's a, uh, a train. Drug dealer. Yeah. Oh, shit, it just came out. You see that shit with Dwayne Wade? Oh, yeah. The basketball that. player? Yeah. He's all over the news. They hailing him as a champion. Because his, his uh, uh, even though he's got a father, but he's sold out, though. He's a, probably a Freemason or something. But it's being accepted that his 12-year-old son is a, a, a tranny. 12 years old. He's not even old enough. What the fuck, bro? That's crazy. Man. That's but at least Keys, she was, she was making a video talking about her son was scared to, to make her his nail polish. His son was like four years old. Alicia Keys? Yeah, because her son wanted to get like rainbow colors. And he was like scared because people were going to 
want to talk about her. She's on there. Uh, why is this bird like this? Whatever the fuck she was saying. Oh, that's fucking. And yeah. she's married to a Swiss Beats yeah. producer. Damn, so here it is. They got a. So even if you do got a man in the house, you, they, they probably still. Kids turn out to be faggots still. Because it, the man is not raised up on the scriptures. You know what I mean? They're not teaching the scriptures to their children. They're not, they don't even teach the children the Ten Commandments. Or the, kid, the children today, they don't even know what the Ten Commandments are. Never even heard of them. I'm like, what's that? Like when we, when I was growing up, I'm, I'm getting old now, bro. It's like, it's like, but back in the day, everybody knew the Ten. Like, you know what the Ten Commandments are. Like when I was growing up, everybody knew that. You might not know them all, but you know, you know what the Ten Commandments are. You know who Moses was. You heard it at Exodus. You know, but nowadays, the average person never even heard of the Exodus. Crazy. Don't even know who the Israelites are. Never even heard of the Israelites. It's like, what's that? I mean, people are waking up now because we've been out here teaching. Did you have so much you can read? I told you, bro, when I was talking about the Ten Commandments, I was talking to this young man. He's probably like 20 years old. And they were talking about, uh, they was talking about how this woman's this woman looked good. She's like, oh, she fine as hell. I'd fuck the shit out of her. But she had a husband. I was like, you can't do that, bro. That's fucking adultery, right? I rebuked him. And he said, adultery? What's that? He's like, I'm grown. I was like, that didn't even make sense. What do you... He didn't even know what adultery was. That's how dumb these people are out here. Don't even know what adultery is. And that's commonplace too, like, man. Like, that dude's girl, she's fine as hell. I'm about to go steal his bitch. Oh, wicked ass spirits out here. Show me iniquity and cause me to behold grievances for spoiling and violence are before me. There are they that rise up strive and contention. Therefore, the law is slacked and judgment doth never go forth. For the wicked doth compass about the righteous, therefore, wrong judges proceed. Yeah, wrong judges proceed because we can pass by. There's nothing but wicked ass people out here. And there's wrongful judgment. Like you go to the courthouses, you ain't gonna get no, no judgment in them courthouses. They don't respect the laws of the Bible in them courts. Them judges, if you go in there with the Bible as your defense, you're going to get locked up. You're going to get extra time. That's contempt of court. You know, that's like, according to the Bible, like if you commit adultery, that's punishable by death. But in America, in America, if a woman commits adultery on a man, she can leave the man, take half of everything he owns, take the children, Going to go child support, alimony, all that. And if the man doesn't pay it, he'll go to jail. Lose his driver's license. You know what I'm saying? And here it is. That, that, that's a sin unto death. Adultery is a sin unto death. But in America, adultery is rewarded for a woman. A woman is rewarded for committing adultery. Well, here it is. They're supposed to get put to death. And that's why the Most High going to follow through on that law. Because y'all thought y'all escaped the punishment of death. Nah, bro, you got to, you, you, you want to get punished. America is a nation of adulterers. Okay, it's a nation of, uh, uh, what did the Lord say to you? A generation of adulterers and adulterers. The punishment for adultery is death. So that, that's another reason why the Lord going to destroy this place. And all these two-thirds of our people, they're going to get put to death. Cause they have a bunch of adulterers and adulteresses. You got something you gonna bring out? It's, uh, Psalms 50 and uh, 16. But unto the wicked God said, What have thou to do to clear my statutes? That thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest instruction and uh, casteth my words behind thee. That's another thing too. It's like, it's like you, 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 you say this is a Christian nation, but then. I just, I just make some find out they, they can, uh, you know how they swear in with the Bible, whatever the case yeah. is. I know they said you can swear in with the Quran. Yeah. You can swear in with fucking any goddamn thing, pretty much. I guess, I don't know what the fuck, but anyway, that's, 
how the fuck you a Christian? They swear you can swear him for fucking Quran or swear him for another book. Like, what the fuck? This is madness. That's why it's called Babylon the Great. This is madness. This is, what the fuck, man? Choose one side. You can't you can't say you're serving the Lord and then you're doing the complete opposite. So why, that's why it says, why would... Well, you you, it's against the law to take oaths. Yeah. That's in the, I was just listening to that Leviticus. Sorry. You can't take oaths. And, and the Lord re, uh in Matthew the fifth chapter, he tells you, you don't, you can't not, you not, you're not supposed to be swearing and taking oaths like that. Go ahead. So what has that to do to declare my statutes of the thousand should have taken my covenant in that mouth? That's another thing. You people, y'all like to say, oh, uh, you got pretty much said the second covenant is for, is for all nations. That's what y'all say. Y'all say the Lord died, because that's what the Lord dying. He said, this is my blood, a new testament. That's a new covenant. So y'all took the Lord's covenant in your mouth. That's all, yeah, that's, that's for us too. You know what I'm saying? But y'all do the complete opposite. Y'all don't even try. What is the covenant? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The covenant. Remember, when Moses took the blood and sprinkled it upon the people. He said, behold, this is the covenant. Yeah. Did they, uh, okay, sorry, sorry. It was the covenant. I was, you go read the laws. The laws tell you all these laws we're supposed to be keeping, man. The dietary laws. These people, they don't respect. They say oh, the law is done away with. They say you can eat all all abominable foods. They say you're allowed to eat pork, shrimp, lobsters. Y'all might as well eat cockroaches. There's some people do. Eating bats. <laughs> There's a Chinese heathen. Man, that's why I pray the coronavirus come over here and start spreading, bro. I'll be praying, bro. Like, please, please, please. <laughs> please. Please. The Lord said the plagues was coming, though, didn't he? We just read it in Revelation. Please. <laughs> it just don't let me get it. It's like... <laughs> it says, thou sawest a thief, then thou considered with him, and has been partakers with idolatry. Like, so y'all been part, y'all, y'all, y'all been part takers. Let me read that part again. Hold on. It says, "Now, so it's a thief, which America is the biggest fucking thief. You niggas stole the whole goddamn country, really the whole earth, and y'all motherfuckers ain't giving it back." Oh, right? and they claim to be Christians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, America was founded by so-called Christians. They all claim to be Christians. Who killed the North American Indians? So-called Christians. Who killed the Taíno Indians of Puerto Rico? Christopher Columbus claimed to be a Christian. He said he was doing God's work. You know that, right? He claimed he was doing God's will. Okay? So here it is, the Christian. Y'all the biggest murderers on the planet. Y'all came over to America. Yeah, you got vocab alone and people saying we're violent, we're evil. But you so-called Christians got more blood on your hands than any anybody else ever. You know what I'm saying? What was the point? What did you say? I had another part and I forgot it. Yeah, thief. Came over and stole everything that was not yours. Stealing people. Oh, yeah, but they claim they're Christians, though. But I thought everybody's brothers. We're supposed to love everybody. Because these so-called Christians say all nations are equal. They're all our brothers. You're supposed to teach them the gospel, right? Not kill them. Not enslave them. But they would use the Bible to justify them enslaving people. They would use the Bible to justify killing the North American Indians. Was the, the, who are actually Israelites, by the way. And they would use the Bible to do that, to justify it. That's why they say, who are you to take my covenant in your mouth? You got more? He says, and uh, has been partaker of adulterers. And thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speaketh against thy brother. Oh, that's another thing. I'm sorry. Uh, about that adultery thing again. They justify adultery out here, don't they? It's become commonplace. It's, it's acceptable for a woman to have as many sexual partners as she wants out here. It's acceptable for men to be homosexuals, women to be lesbians. They, anything goes out here now, man. They got no respect at all for the word of the Most High. They got no respect for the covenant at all. Go ahead. It says, Thou sittest to speak against thy brother, thou slandest thy own mother's son. That's what Esau is doing, slandering us. Uh, calling us uh, fucking, uh, calling us, uh, the prophets that were actually going around killing people or some shit. Uh, that, that little, that sorry ass story that they came up with in the New Jersey shit, whatever the fuck. Yeah. Uh, that, that stupid ass shit. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, but what, like, what the Christians? They'll get a case, an isolated, they'll get an isolated incident of one person who knows he's an Israelite who kills somebody and they'll blame all of us for it. 
But what about the Christians? Like I said, the Christians got the longest history of murdering anything that came in their path. They just, just, just rape, rob, plunder, and murder. I mean, how did America get established, bro? How did all these, how did, how did all these so-called white people get over here? They all claim to be Christians. On the back of a dollar bill it says, "In God we trust." But how did y'all? Uh, how did you acquire these lands? Yeah, what's that nigga? Uh, damn, what's that president? Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. You remember? I think his name was Moreau. Yeah, yeah, Moreau, some shit. This nigga, he, he said, uh, they, 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 at that time, they was trying to decide whether to expand America yeah. throughout the whole world. And he was like, yeah, Cause that's that's the spirit too. Cause that's that's uh, Proverbs six. Cause he said, uh, he said, uh, I didn't know what to do. So I went in my, I was in my room, paced back and forth, and I prayed to the Lord, and then the Lord pretty much, I decided to pretty much take over the Philippines, and then, and then I slept, and I, I, I was at rest. You know what I'm saying? That's the scripture says that they won't, they won't go to sleep until they, until they cause them to fall. You know what I'm saying? So he was praying, he was supposedly praying to God, and that justified him going to different countries and, and fucking destroying lives. You know what I'm saying? But when you read the scriptures, what happened when Peter cut off the ear of a Roman soldier? The Lord rebuked him and healed it. So it's, where did the Lord go tell us to go out and conquer people and kill people? He never said to do that. He said go teach the gospel and baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's what he said to do. He didn't say to go baptize them with your rifles, baptize them in blood. Yeah, bro. It says, these days that has done. And I kept silence that I thought it, that I was altogether such as one as thyself, but I reproved thee and set them in order before mine eyes. That's what he was doing. He set us and the Israelites in order. Right in front of you motherfuckers' eyes. You know what I'm saying? He says, That's true. Hey, look, we're in front of their eyes right now. You know what I'm saying? They see us out. They get mad when they see us too. They're like, Ugh. They look at us. They're like, Ew. Hey, what are you doing out there? They they. You know, they look at us like we're like we're some kind of uh, an eyesore. Look at this, see, look at this they just staring at us. It's not polite to stare. It's not polite to stare. He said, "Now consider this: ye that forget God, he said, tear you in pieces." Who? He said, "He said, I tear you in pieces." So offer, it's like who so offer praise glorifies me, and to him that ordered his conversation aright will I show the salvation of God. The salvation of the Most High. That's what we're doing. We're ordering our conversation aright. So the Lord's gonna deliver us. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what Esau. This 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 motherfucker. He's crazy. He, he, that's why Scripture says he's the, uh, the accuser of your brethren. He really thinks the Lord is on it. He really yeah. thinks the Lord is on his side. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, and the most high is real, bro. That's something these motherfuckers, they can't get out here. Hey, I think the most high ain't real. So, shit, the most high is like the realest. The, he, the most high is everything. I'm talking about he ain't in no most high. The God don't exist. The most high, because people think the most high done forsaken us, you know what I mean? They be feeling like that sometimes, like, man, but the most high, he, he don't care about us. But the Most High, he hears your cries. But there's a time and a place for everything. Most High is moving on his timetable. He ain't moving on our timetable. Let me get this right. I'm going to get that Job 20 right quick. Damn, I don't lost it. Where'd I go? Uh, this is Job 20 and 4. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing, the triumphing of the wicked is short? Like I said, because people think, the oh, and there ain't no hope. You know what I'm saying? The Lord ain't going to never come back. He ain't never going to take this devil down. The Lord is going to take this devil down. The Americans only been in power, what, a couple hundred years? That ain't nothing. When we when the Israel, we was rolling in the Byzantine Empire for a thousand years. That's how long our, one, of, one of our empires lasted. Lasted for a thousand years. You think America's going to last for a thousand years? I don't think so. So, look. The triumph, the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. Oh, real quick. I just spoke on the Byzantine Empire. I got a, uh, some artwork from about the 1300s. 
I'm gonna show you right quick. I'm gonna see if I can get it on camera. I just downloaded this image today. It was by uh, it was a pre-Renaissance painting. Let me see, show you something. If I can get it up here, you see that? It's from like the year 1300 or something, right before the Renaissance. What does the Lord look like? <laughs> I want you to get this an image of the Lord. I don't know if that's even showing up. It's, I, my phone died, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, the most I don't like them images. <laughs> no graven images. Nah, but it was, I was about to show you, man. That's messed up. My phone just died. My phone's a piece of shit. It'd be dying all the time. It'd say 80% and die a minute later. Uh, yeah, but cause all, originally all the images of the Lord was all dark skin. But the Lord's a so-called black man. He's not a white man. Okay, that was the point I was going to make before the damn my phone died. I might have to use a real Bible. Oh, that's what I get for using a, uh, not using a real Bible. Relying on my phone too much. And then my phone died. Let me get that Job, though. Job. When I was a little kid, I was like, that's the book of Job. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how is that joke? Explain that to me. I really thought that when I was like, you know, because my mom always had that big giant Bible on the coffee table growing up. I and I read that Bible. It'd be sitting there, I got nothing to do, I would read the Bible. <laughs> we had a big Bible, boy. That thing was huge. It was a nice but I had a nice page. It was one of them old school Bibles. Uh where's that? Job twenty and uh four. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? Like, we just went into how this devil is a, a, a hypocrite. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be destroyed. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach unto the clouds. Right, meaning what? This, he... He done got so, like America done became so powerful, so-called white man, the Edomites, that done became so powerful that he thinks he's like the most high. And you could, I mean, that's what it really means, but you could take it literally, he's, he's flying around in the sky with his airplanes. You're trying to go up in the outer space and all that. And he, think, he thinks he's like the most high. What's good? Uh, where was he at? Uh, six. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. That's shit. If you don't know what dung means, he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? Where'd he go? Where'd the devil go? Where'd he go? Where'd he at? He got flushed down the toilet like a pile of shit. He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found, yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more, neither shall his place any more behold him. All right, his children sh shall seek to please the poor, and his hand shall restore their goods. That's why you're gonna have a lot of Edomites out here pretending like they care about us, you know what I'm saying? They see their end is coming there, and they're gonna pretend like they care about you. They'll be like, oh, they'll get on TV and say they donated to charity or some shit. You know how these devils are. Do not your alms before men so you may be seen of men, you devils. Die also which saw him shall see him. I just read that, didn't I? Um, I'm sorry. Verse 11. His bones are full of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. Right, so Esau's bones are full of the sins of his youth, going all the way back to the Exodus. When Amalek denied the Israelites passage through their lands so we could, you know what I'm saying, so we could get away from the Egyptians and all that. Well, not get away from them. You know, after the Exodus, we went through the sea. We was looking for safe passage. They wouldn't give it to us. Now, going back to, you know what I mean, Esau is the devil. He came over to the Americas, killed everybody, enslaved. Uh, he stole people, stole the Israelites, brought them over here on slave ships. That's the sins of his youth. So he, he, so you're gonna get put to death for that eventually, according to the book, according to the book of Obadiah. I'll be stuttering, bro. 
According to the book of Obadiah, all Edomites are all going to be exterminated. There ain't going to be a single Edomite left, bro. You got anything? Uh, oh, no, I keep going. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at this. The wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue. That's how wick the wickedness be sweet in their mouth. Because look, it's because he hides it under his tongue. That's why when these devils, they give their speeches, you know what I'm saying? They, they tell you all the right words. They tell you everything you want to hear. But really, they, they got their hiding them lies underneath their tongue. Everything they're saying is a goddamn lie. Okay, the so-called white man is a liar. Everything he says is a lie. Everything he does is deceitful. And though he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth. Yet uh, his meat in his bowels is turned as the goal of ass within him. Oh, just like the so-called white man, we're talking about the uh, North American Indians. How many treaties he make with the North American Indians? Constantly lying to them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, well, I'm a, well, we're peace. We'll make peace with you. They come the next day and kill everybody. After he make a peace treaty. Yet his meat in his bowels is turned is the gall of ass within him. The gall of ass, that's the poison of a snake. He has swallowed down riches. He shall vomit them up again. The Most High shall cast them out of his belly. Right, so this devil, like America, this devil don't swallow down all these riches. <laughs> they gonna vomit all them riches up. Okay, you you gonna relinquish them riches. Okay, and your life. The Most High gonna get you. Like I said, they said America is the richest nation on earth. Not for long, it ain't. This shit all gonna get burned up and melted. All these people, they gonna get melted. All these demons, y'all gonna get melted, turn into ashes. Go ahead. He's a precept to how you hide it. He's looking at something. Oh, his yeah. Tongue. It's uh, Proverbs 10 and 19, uh, shit, 20. Wait. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's like you know, 18. It says, He that hideth hatred with Ooh. lying words, and he that uttereth a slander is a fool. Hideth hatred with lying words. Yeah, they hide their. They say, oh, that's the old, oh, I have some black friends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they always say that shit. I love black people. <laughs> yeah, they, that's what they say. I'm not racist, I promise. That's what, they, these motherfuckers, man. Shit, the scripture says be at peace with, oh, man, we even got, we might be cool for even at work. You know yeah, saying? yeah. Doesn't mean I fucking love that person. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just being cool with the motherfucker. Same thing with uh, just like just like at work and shit. A lot of people like jobs. They try to hire like 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 women and they try to hire different races. That's so, a diversity. Yes, yes. So does does that mean they love everybody? No, they just trying to keep that shit on down low so nobody will come up and say something against them. Yeah, they're saying your your company's not diverse enough. Yeah. Yep. They do it just so they can be uh, seen in men, you know. So that people. He just, <laughs> I ain't gonna hate on him, dude. What did he say? He loved us? Oh, he said, God bless you. Oh, is that what he said? I think he said he loved us. Oh. Yeah, that'd be weird if he just said that. I, I, if you said bless us, hey, the scripture said bless them. That's the, Jacob's blessing. You know, is anybody that blesses us, they gonna be blessed. Anybody curses us, they gonna be cursed. You know? I, hey, there it is right there. He saw cursed us. He lies with his mouth. He says he loves us. He don't love us. This devil don't love it. Like, you got Donald Trump. He be pointing out. <laughs> Did you watch the State of the Union? He was pulling out uh, so-called black people, uh, Judites. He's pulling them about the cuts. Like, see? I love black people. Look, I'm going to give this little black girl a free college education. See, I love them. I just love them to death. I got a T Tuskegee Airman right here. I'm a, did you see that? No. He pulled out the Tuskegee Airmen and gave him a medal or some shit. But goddamn, didn't y'all inject him with syphilis? You know, they always do that. They'll, they'll card out some black people. It's like, oh, say, look, I love black people. Fuck out of here, man. Man, these dumbass. They, all, all them Trump supporters, they all racist as hell. 
I know that for a fact. I talk to them. They can't even repeat the things that they say. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking crazy, man. I mean, the liberals, too, they a bunch of racists, too. So it was the Democrats that fucking, uh... It was the Republicans that freed the slaves. Yeah. It's the Democrats. That's, they, slave, they both... Look, the, the, the left wing and the right wing, there's an old saying. The left wing and the right wing, they're both two wings of that same eagle. That same eagle is two wings. That's why there's only two parties. It really ain't get, they think you got a choice. You got two parties to choose from, the left or the right. That's a whole lot of choices. <laughs> That's what Jesse Ventura, he made it. Jesse Ventura, he probably Jake. But he made that statement. He said, America has two parties. That's just one party more than the communists have. Because the communists have one party. Like in communist China, they have one party. The communist China. Well, America has one extra party. I mean, they got the Constitutional Party and the Liberty. It, that's, that's, they don't we take y'all serious. Y'all, y'all minuscule. Y'all Lilliputian. <laughs> you got anything else? Well, Dad, what should I keep reading this? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, kind of. I mean, there is a lot more. Yeah, let's keep going. He has swallowed down riches and he shall vomit them up again. The Most High shall cast them out of his belly. He shall suck the poison of ass, the viper's tongue shall slay him. He shall not see the rivers, the floods, the brooks of honey and butter. That which he labored for, he shall restore and shall not swallow it down according to a substance. Shall the restitution be and he shall not rejoice therein. Because he hath oppressed and hath forsaken the poor, because he hath violently taken away a house which he buildeth not. Is, that's America right there, bro. Oh, look, I just reading a story in the, pa uh, in the paper. I got the paper. On the internet. <laughs> that's the, the new paper. But they said uh, up in New York City that the homeless problem is out of control. You know Grand Central Station in New York City? It's like a big tourist attraction. You know Grand Central Station with the subways and all that shit? I and mean, there's a lot of businesses in there, but you got a lot of businesses business owners complaining because there's just homeless people everywhere. You can't get there everywhere. They're sleeping right there in front of the businesses. They say they're uh, they're, they're taking baths in the drinking fountains. But we see that out here in Columbus too, don't we? We'll be out here downtown. The homeless people's everywhere. I mean, it's just, that's because they have forsaken the poor. And that's why what? Politicians, that Donald Trump, he's going to give the tax cuts to the rich. Tax the middle class, the lower class. Poor people shouldn't even have to pay taxes at all. Especially people who don't own property shouldn't have to pay taxes at all if it was a righteous kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Because you, can, you can't barely afford to pay goddamn rent, let alone taxes. I mean, their fucking rent is crazy. But a heathen? Hey, like, I'm a heathen. Bruh, I could barely afford to pay rent. Bruh, I'd be like wondering how the fuck I'm going to get money to eat. I, I'd be, I was going to the grocery, uh, grocery store to get my, my children some food. I'm like, God damn. I, it's like every time I got to buy some food, it's like, God damn, this shit, you can't afford nothing. After I pay rent and buy groceries, I ain't got shit left. Like, God damn. Vomit them riches up. Yeah, it's Sirac 10. Because you, you know how when you eat too much, if you eat too much, you eat too much food, and you just eating and eating, and you just, you're going to get sick, you're going to puke it, you're going to vomit it up because you ate too much. That's like America ate too much, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's going to punch you right in the gut. It's all coming out. Yep. Just like if someone that drank too much, drank too much alcohol, you're going to puke it all up. Go ahead. It said, Sirach 40, and uh, the 11, all these, uh, 12, it's like it. All bribery, Ooh, man, hold up, man, it's good right there. I didn't even see that part. All bribery 
and injustice shall be blotted out. Uh, America's a nation of bribery. That's why what? If, uh, if a poor man goes to court, say, say, say uh, a poor man and a rich man both get charged with the same crime, who's going to get more time? The poor man's going to get more time because he ain't got no money. But a rich guy can go over there with hotshot lawyers, throw thousands of dollars around. He gets off with six months probation while the poor man gets uh, six years in prison. That's, all, that's bribery. How is that justice? Man, fuck this country. That's why you got these assholes talking about they proud to be an American, man. Fuck you, man. Go ahead. Fuck you. Fuck you. Bond. What kind of bullshit? There should not be no damn bonds. Like, you think go, they go kill somebody and get a bond, he's out. Yeah. What bullshit, man? If you kill somebody, there should be a trial right then and there. You get the witnesses, not a piece of hair, not a fingerprint, not no DNA sample. You get actual witnesses to see that happen. And then you get the witnesses, they, they, then you kill them. And they'll take a murderer and lock them up for a life. You know why? So they can get some free slave labor out of them. Murderers are supposed to get put to death. Plain and simple. If you murder somebody in cold blood, you're supposed to get put to death. That's why the scripture says life for life. Right, yep. Two for two, for eye for eye. You, if somebody kills somebody, that person, gets, if they kill them unjustly, unrighteously, they should be killed. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It's as simple as that. It's, but, like you said, motherfuckers go to prison for the rest of life. That's not justice. That's, that's madness. Like, they, what the hell is that? They get a pedophile go to prison for six years and get out. You seen that old ass, that old ass crap? <laughs> 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 he was like he was like 50 years old. He raped a five year old. And he went to prison for five years. Oh, that's crazy. Five. He, probably, he probably ain't gonna finish the whole damn thing. He probably get left off for, uh, for good behavior or some shit. They should got put to death. Yeah. Oh, immediately you should. Immediately what about adultery? You supposed to get put to death for adultery? Mm -hmm. What happens if you commit adultery? Nothing. It's not even a crime. It's not even illegal. That's one of the Ten Commandments. It's not even illegal. They go. <laughs> they, you could, if a bitch commit adultery, they're going to blame it on the man. Yeah, oh, it's the he man's fault. He, he hit right. Oh, he oh yeah. Hit it he didn't oh. hit it right. Like, what? Like, man, damn, man. Yeah. People just That's it, why man. you can see why the most high going to destroy this place, man. But if a man go supposedly, supposedly be committed or whatever, go ask this with another woman, it's all his fault. He's a dog. He's a dog. Or this, that, and the third. Man, these people are fucking wicked, man. But, uh, I promise you, man. Y'all lucky I'm not fucking 30 feet tall. I'll be stomping y'all motherfuckers, bro. I was see that. I was probably, probably if I was tall as tall as that building, I'd just be. Yeah. I'd be praying the Lord make me a giant, bro. Fuck your shit. Yeah, fuck I'm mad. Your couch, fuck that. Fuck your couch. <laughs> yeah, fuck your couch. Yeah, then we gonna fuck it. The Most High gonna do that to the American. That's a good parable. <laughs> Man. It is mad, you know, we go crazy thinking about it. And that's why you got to come out here teaching, man. You got, like we always say, you got, we're going to speak this into existence. That's what our Lord said when he comes back, he's going to cry like a travailing woman. You know, like you see people in war, you know, they charge, like, oh, charge. They screaming and doing a little yep. war, whatever the fuck. Like the sound of the trumpet. Da -da 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 -da. Charge! Like, Yo, oh, that shit, that's how Lord's going to be, because it's like, this, 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 this makes you that, be angry. How much more the Lord? That's why the scripture said the Lord gonna put his anger in us. You know what I'm saying? But he's 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 beyond anger. He's fucking pissed. The scripture says he's, he's angry at the wicked every day. Every day. So when he when he gets that judgment, woo, you know what I'm saying? Shit. The most high is real, bro. You see how just he got this thing, everybody knows. See that people won't believe in the most high, but they'll believe in karma. They'll be like, oh that's karma. What do you think karma is, bro? What do you think karma comes from? That's the most high working, doing that's the spirit working. And it's always working. You can see it working. Bad luck. Yeah, bad luck. You no, know, that's the most high spirit on your ass. Destiny. Whatever that shit called. Destiny, bad luck. All, all Faith, that. Whatever. Everything. Everything we can talk about. That's the most high. Everything. It says, Sirach 40 and 12. All robbery and injustice shall be blotted out. And true dealing shall endure forever. Yeah. True deal. True deal. Uh, it says, The goods of the unjust shall be dried up like a river and shall vanish with noise. 
advantage yes. with noise. Yes, sir. It ain't gonna go out. Yo, this ain't America ain't going down peacefully. Quietly. And quietly, yeah. With a great tumult, a great noise. That's how this place is going down. Well, they say the bigger they are, the harder they fall. It's going to be just like David versus Goliath, bro. Because we still David. And he, you know, this heathen is still goddamn Goliath. Goliath is a monster. A fucking monster. You, people are terrified of Goliath. You know, they, like people, you can't fight against this government with tanks. They got goddamn tanks. You know what I'm saying? Helicopter. They got, they got bust out with an attack helicopter and mow everything down. But the most high, we the meek of the earth, bro. We the lowest. But the most high going, he gonna give us power. He gonna put us on top. Over this devil. He's, he's gonna be amazing. My boy, what you got? He says, uh, like a great thunder and, and rain. While he uh, openeth his hand, he shall rejoice. So shall transgressioners come to naught. The children of the ungodly shall not bring forth many branches. <laughs> They're not gonna bring forth many branches. They're not gonna, they gonna be no more Edomites. And yeah. so, you know, Edomites, they, they have a hard time having children anyway. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. That. Oh, yeah. That's fair, that's fair. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got that, oh, that opium crisis killing the motherfuckers, and, uh, and also that they ain't having much kids as they used to. Whatever the fuck. Hey, Esau, too, interested in fucking little boys. Yeah. And being a faggot, being a sodomite. Bitches destroying the goddamn pussies. And, and women ain't having children. Yeah. But the women, that they, they all on birth control, having abortions. You know what I'm saying? Our women do that shit too. Actually, more than the Edomite women. Because really, what it is, because really, Esau is trying to turn our people into Edomites. Like, you know, not actually, you know what I'm saying though. They they making our people fall after the ways of the Edomites. They like them made our people honorary Edomites. Is what they done. Honorary devils. Mercifulness and dirt. This we live in a country with where there is no mercy. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no mercy out here. There ain't no mercy in tax. We in tax season. Show me the mercy in them taxes. Shit. Would you have to owe taxes this year? Did you say you owe taxes? Yeah. Fuck is that, bro? Here it is. We broke as fuck, and they just keep taking our money. There's always some kind of fine or some shit you got. They just keep taking. We got nothing to give, but they keep taking it. You got shit, bro. Garbage-ass country. And them taxes, so that's another way you know this is the Roman Empire. Because what did the Romans want from everybody? Did they conquer? They want them taxes. They like, you can still worship whatever god you want. We just got to get them taxes. You know, that's all, America, that's all they care about is some taxes. They want that money. They want that control, that power. And tax, what does the word tax mean? That means to wear you out. If you're getting taxed, it's like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm taxed. I'm out of energy. I'm spent. Being taxed means you're getting the shit beat out of you. And the Esau didn't like us over here. I see the spirit on it. It's Satan. Because really, America is Satan. You know that, right? They tell you that in Revelation, the 12th chapter. America is Satan. It's that old serpent. Because Satan is... The spiritual demon Satan, he's thriving out here. That is Daniel. Is that Daniel? The great. Yeah, that's a. Got a Judite woman back there. In the back there chilling. Man, if 
find it. My phone died. I forget the exact script. I ain't got a concordance on it, do I? Does Bible have a concordance? Probably not. He shall uh, speak great words against the Most High. He shall wear out the saints. Of the Most High. Hey, that's what they do out here. They speak great words against the Most High. They, they say the Most High don't exist. You know what I'm saying? Look at the average person. Like I said, because the average person, they believe what the people in charge believe. They believe what the government believes I and mean, everything they're told. So uh, Esau says the Most High don't exist. That's what these people, they, they go with that. They'll say the Bible's oh the Bible's been proven to be mythology. Oh, they'll say King David never lived. They say King Solomon never lived. They said Moses is a fictional character. He was made up. You know what I'm saying? Say, Read that again. They a bunch of fucking devils. So you shall speak great words against the most high. You shall wear out the saints in the most high. Oh, they'll say, yeah. They speak great words against the most. They'll they'll literally say. Well, they, say, they call him God. They'll say, fuck God. God don't exist. Like, I don't give a fuck. They'll say the Bible is fucking trash. The Bible's bullshit. You know what I mean? They'll say the Bible's garbage. And they'll be like, oh. They'll say Harry Potter. I, I, they'll quote a verse from Harry Potter. Yeah, somebody do that. I had people quote a Harry Potter verse to me and says, see? Harry Potter said this. That means it's true. You know, they just like, they like running their mouth, bro. Read that again. That's a good scripture. Great words against the Most High. He shall wear out the saints of the Most High. If they to change times and laws, they shall be given into his hands until a time and times are divided in time. They say he's going to change the times and the laws. They change everything. Now, that's why America used a solar calendar. It's not a biblical calendar. Because back in the ancient world, we used the lunar calendar. But, uh, well, look at the calendar. Look at the, the, day, the, the days of the names of the weeks. Monday, uh, we'll start with Sunday. Sunday is the day of the sun. This is all pagan. Monday, day of the moon. Tuesday is uh, Tears Day. It's a Nor uh, Norse god, right? Wednesday is Odin's day. Is Odin, is Norse god who they equated with Mercury. Thursday is Thor's day, who's equated with Zeus. Friday is Frey's day. Okay, and then we got Saturday, Saturn's day. That's all pegging. Look at the calendar. He said he's going to change the times, the days, and everything. January. I ain't going to go through all the months. You're going to look at that on yourself. <laughs> like, what, what month were you in now? Uh, well, in February. February, uh, well, January comes from Janus, the god of doorways. February comes from an ancient Roman festival of cleansing. It was a pagan festival of cleansing. And that's why you got spring cleaning that comes in, you know, around the same time. But then you got, what, March? March comes from the god Mars. March. That's why soldiers march, because that comes from Mars, the god of war. That's saying, you can go look the rest of the months up. Man, I have to take all day. Well, what else did I say? Read that. It said they changed, they changed the times and, and the laws. They changed the laws. Like they said, they changed the laws. They say you can worship whatever god you want. You can be a devil worshiper. That's cool. It is all kind of stories come out in the news. I read one uh, yesterday talking about how witchcraft is on the rise in America. You know what I'm saying? I be on social media. All these women are talking about how they've been blessed by the goddess. They tell me I'm burning my sage. I got my crystals. They say, oh, Venus is in retrograde. I'm getting my crystals. I'm just burning the sage. I'm going in the grove. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These people's bugged out, bro. We got actual witch witchcraft is on the rise out here. Plus, free, America was founded by Freemasons, bro. Freemasons. All the founding fathers were deists, which means they claim they believe in a God, but they're not, not, they said the Bible was pretty much mythology, and it's not true. They said there's no way that could be true. You, people can't raise from the dead. You can't heal people. That's what they say. They say it's all mythology. They say the book is a Bible, it's a fantasy book. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. But they changed all the laws. Here it is. They took the laws that's been around for thousands of years. It said marriage 
There was never even a question that marriage was between a man and a woman. Nobody ever questioned that until America came on the goddamn scene. Now a man can marry, how can a man marry a man? How is that a marriage? You can't even have children. But they don't let homosexual couples go adopt children. And what do you think they're doing to that child when they adopt it? What do you think they're doing to it? They're raping the shit out of the little kids, bro. And then that kid, he's going to grow up to be a faggot. I mean, what do you think is going to happen? Because I guarantee you all, the, all homosexuals are also pedophiles. Guarantee it. Because if you're nasty enough to go up in someone's butthole, you, man, you're disgusting. That's disgusting. You're going up with someone's ain't it where the poop is at. You know what I mean? It's disgusting. They be eating each other's assholes. I heard I heard a homosexual talking about how they's eating ass. And they talk about them, the homosexuals, you seen them, you seen them trannies they're down in the mill? You yeah. see the trannies down there? Yeah, they nasty as hell. These trannies and homosexuals, they just always talking nasty, perverted. They always talking about sex and how they ate someone's butthole. And they open with it, bro. We supposed to accept that? Fuck out of here. It's very rarely where you see a... <laughs> I was gonna say you see a shame-faced homosexual. Uh, you ever see a shame-faced tranny? <laughs> Every tranny I've ever seen is loud, obnoxious, and loud. Just loud as hell, disrespectful. They think they can do whatever the fuck they want. That's what it... Every tranny I've ever seen is like that. Just loud, rude as fuck, think they own the world. Tell me I'm lying. You know we telling the truth, bro. Fuck out of here. A lot of y'all like trannies, though. <laughs> Every at home watching tranny porn. <laughs> That's pretty nasty. Says, uh, it's gross. Says, uh, uh, song is 94, and uh, I'm just going to start at 3. Uh, how, how long shot it wicked? How long shot it wicked? Where's that at? 94 sound. Oh, that's fire, yeah, man. It says, man, I was just. What was that, man? I was just listening to a uh, song. Not, there, there, there's a song. I forget what composer did it. But it was a, I think it was in Latin when they said it. Oh, did that one of them songs? And I think they were singing that. I gotta look that up, man. Oh, I'll read that again. That's this is fire, though. How long shot it wicked? How long shall they wicked triumph? How long shall they utter and speak hard things? And all the workers of iniquity boast themselves. Yeah, they, they boast themselves. They say to them, like, man, that's why I fucked your bitch. You got, you got dudes to brag about sucking dick. Disgusting. I'm like, Eli was telling me, to, uh, I seen it too. He got in an argument with somebody over, uh, he's like, man, how I seen the video too. I seen the video, this dude was getting mad at the Israelites. He got mad at us because we said you're not supposed to fuck tranny. He's like, what the fuck? We can't have no fun at all. I can't fuck a tranny, get my dick sucked by a tranny. That's bullshit. You know? That's crazy. He actually got on camera saying that shit. They got no shame in their game right here. And they boast themselves in their wickedness. They be like, like we're going back to the adultery. A common saying among our people is like, I'll fuck your bitch. I'm going to take your bitch. Almost every rap song you listen to got a line in there talking about, I fucked your bitch, I took your bitch. Almost every rap song. That's all they do is boast and they wicked. They boast about, like in the rap song, they boast about, uh, <laughs> they boast about robbing people. Oh, Esau, he'll boast too, shit. Donald Trump will boast. He was boasting about how he blew up your boy Solomon. <laughs> Out here murdering people. Blowing up children. With fucking drones. They call it collateral damage. Oh, you gonna read that whole chapter. How is it long? No, let's keep going. Yeah, keep going. I wanna hear it. See what it keep see what it got. Read that, read that again. I didn't hear that. They break in pieces thy people. They break in pieces thy people. You know what I'm saying? That's going to the wicked, the heathen. It's starting with Esau. He broke us in pieces. They, they beat you down out here, bro. 
like going back to the taxes and the penalties. You know, you ever, like, I'm dealing with my getting my license back right now. Guess what I got to do to get my license back? Because I didn't have money. I missed an insurance payment. Why? Because I was fucking broke. I didn't have fucking money to pay the fucking insurance. So guess what? Oh, my license is suspended for a year. You know what I'm saying? Now the year's up. I felt like I just did a prison bid. You know, now I got what? Well, I got to go pay penalties. Probably got to give them two, $300 that I ain't fucking got. Got to scrape it up. You know what I'm saying? Cause they just constantly beating us down, bro. Go ahead. Says, uh, they slayed a widow and a stranger and murdered the fatherless. Yet they say Yahweh should not see it. Yeah, they say the Most High don't see this. Neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Yeah, they, they, cause they don't think he. They think the Most High ain't real. They didn't think he ain't about nothing. Go ahead. Uh, understand the British among the people. You fool and you fools. Why is he that planted the air and shall he not hear? He that formed the eye shall he not see? Right, he. No, I ain't gonna go too deep on that one, bro. But I was just thinking about something. The Most High can hear your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? He sees what you see, bro. Because we all come from the Most High. We're all, you know what I mean? Every, all of our spirit that's in us all comes from the Most High. We're a part of the Most High. He created us. He's the one to put the breath of life into us. So he knows everything you think, man. He sees everything you see. He knows everything you do. Go ahead. It says, uh, he that shall not eat, shall not eat correct. He that teach a man knowledge shall he not know. How knows the thoughts of men that they are vanity? He knows the thoughts of men. It's all vanity. Your thoughts is fucking trash, man. What do people be thinking about all day? I be doing that too. I be looking at people like right now. I be looking at that woman like, what's going on in her mind? Probably thinking about something fucking retarded. It's all hell. But it's serious to her. So in our thoughts, we we meditating on what? This the Lord coming to save us. We praying the Lord take down our enemies. We praying the Lord bring peace to the earth, bring peace and happiness. That sounds kind of cheesy, but that's what we praying for. We want peace and fucking happiness. It says, uh, 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 shit. The blessed is the man whom thou chastenest, O Yahweh, and teacheth him out of thy law, thou, that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity to the thick be. To the pit be dig for the people, for the wicked. Oh, to so the pit. Oh, 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 the pit be dig for the wicked. Oh, let me look at that scripture. Look at that scripture. Oh, let's talk about that pit. Oh, let's get it. That fire pit, baby. We just gotta read out Obadiah right quick. We gotta hold that. He said he gonna build a bigger pit for the wicked. What do you do with the pit? Either gonna do two things with it. You are gonna bury somebody yet? Bury, 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 bury. They gonna get bury somebody in a grave, or you gonna build that pit to burn them up and then bury them? I can't find it. Freaking, I'm not used to this Bible. Still, I don't ever use it. Big non script. Hey, all day scripture getting. The pages are hard to turn. They're so slippery. Ah. Oh my goodness. My old ashy hands. Here we go. It's your girl. There's an Obed. Ooh, look. See, look at that. Look at that font. Obadiah 18. It says, The house of Jacob, that's us, Israel. The house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken. So the Edomites, they all going to get burned up. We're going to burn them up in a pit. Big-ass fire pit. We're going to burn them the fuck up. When the Lord gives us that power, okay? We're not doing nothing until the Lord returns. In case somebody try to get it twisted. Like, oh, they said they're going to kill all the... Oh, but they said the Edomites are done away with. So there's no more Edomites, right? They're going to say we're terrorists. 
Oh, you can talk about you gonna kill people. I guess y'all don't believe in the scriptures. Oh, you got more to that song 94? Yeah, preset. Okay. I'll go ahead. I got a good point. I just heard the elders bring it up last night. I was, I just thought about it. I'll get it. Go ahead. Isaiah 24 and uh, 22 says, we start 21, it says, it shall come to pass in that day that Yahweh shall punish the hosts of the high ones that are on high and the kings of the earth upon the earth. And they shall be gathered together as prisoners as gathered in the pit and shall be shut up in the prison and many days shall be visited. That's fire. So you're going to get thrown in that pit, bro? Where was that at? Isaiah 24. Isaiah 24, baby. So that's actually all through the scriptures. You just read a few of them. I got another one, too, right here. Matthew, uh, I said Matthew. Malachi. Uh, I'm going to just read it. Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven... And all the proud, Jay, all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, save the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But listen to this. Now listen to this. This is a key part right here. So this, we've been talking about that fire. Hope the camera don't die. But unto you, listen to this. Listen, listen, listen. But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness. Who's the son of righteousness? Who is that? It's the Messiah, right? The son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and you shall go forth and grow as calves of the stall. That's talking about us, right? It's talking about us. What are we going to do? Right? And ye, that means us, Israel, the elected Israel, and ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, save the Lord of hosts. So it said we're going to tread down the wicked. And that was talking about the Messiah, the end times, and all that. So how come, but them Christians, they said it's all love. Have you ever heard any Christian ever say that they're going to tread down the wicked? And they're going to, you know what I mean? But how to say it? But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth. It's talking about us. And grow his calves in the stall, and ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. Like assholes, you got people like Vocab Malone, camera about to die. He'll say we're violent, but the scripture said we're going to tread down the wicked, and their ashes are going to be on the soles of our feet. That's what it says. That's an end times prophecy. But these Christians, they ain't never going to bring that out, man. Because they're all full of shit, and they don't know the scriptures. This thing, what time is it? You got a time? I gotta stop this. I'm gonna say Shalom.